Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of Shadow Empire. In previous episodes we managed to clear out the pocket that we had over here, as well as, uh, actually technically speaking, there was another pocket over here against the wildlife in this region. So that's now at least dealt with. Uh, we could probably send the rovers over here just to check out if there's anything else, and the tanks should probably head down this way. We've got the machine gunners, which we can hopefully get back to the road at least. These are going to be a little bit low on supplies as well, but we did find some more radioactives over there by the looks of it. Um, we've got the bikers in here, which technically speaking, these could... Well, we've got scouts already in the western part of this northern front, so we'll just head that further north. I can probably go along the coastline, and these two should be able to clear out the enemy here without too many issues. Oh, there we go. That's good hits there. I'm just going to use both of these to attack it again, actually. Oh, there we go. It's now finally destroyed. But there seems to be something else here. Still lurking away. And then on the northeast, there's not too much going on. In Ansang, I already moved uh, some of the troops back. We've got a infantry sort of wall around here. So at least the supplies will be able to reach there one way or another. I do... Hmm, they have started retreating a lot of their troops, actually. Didn't we have um, some... Yeah, we've got grasshoppers there, which is not exactly what I was uh, looking for. Although that does remind me, let's go ahead and do a quick little air recon on this thing. We got some wizards back in the capital, so we can use those to do maybe some strikes on the... Ah, right, we don't have range anymore uh, with that one. But yeah, we can do some strikes from here with the the Ravens with the fighters. So the wizards are the ones that we want to use for attacks here. I could maybe do a bit of a strike on this. They've been moving a lot. It should be doable. We've got pretty good recall in there. Oh, right. Well, of course, we did a recall, not attack there. There we go. Well, at least we got the recall needed now. Going to get a few hits in there, hopefully. Uh, three hits, not exactly what I was looking for. And they seem to have supplies in here, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, defeat in detail. What's this then? Overall defense. Oh, okay. They have less defense, but their offense values are doubled. Or uh, offense, yeah. Well, regardless, it's uh, not great for us. Uh, although a lot of these units do not have any sort of posture, actually. Interestingly enough. Did I remember correctly? Uh, let's see, regimes. Um, Tomorrow's Republic. No, we don't have enough intel on you. Ah. Uh, Ah. Oh, you know, that's the rebels. Uh, Tomorrow's Republic, they are at war. Okay. Interesting. So, a lot of the troops might be going over here now, fighting between our... Well, over there, essentially. And I think some of them are actually going against... Uh, oh. Even against Hochstein. So, they are actually diluting a lot of their troops. So, if we just hold on in here... I have transported a little bit of uh, recruits over as well, so we can replenish some losses if need be. Could potentially do a bit of an airstrike or artillery strike on this one, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. So let's have a look at the western front. I know that that's uh, the most exciting right now. So I guess what we could do... Oh, yes, there we go. We can encircle them and then attack. Might take a little bit of losses. Ooh, yeah, it's got a lot of hits there. But it's rendered. There we go. Let's not moving that one northwards. We do need to remember to replenish our reinforcements at some point. Get this one on the road. These can probably get in here. We've got some of the flat guns for the flank. I guess we could send the rovers over here. These can get on the... Ah, right. I guess the heavy tanks are now going to start pushing towards the enemy capital. I think that's going to be the case here. And the... Crusaders and the Blitzers can uh, move along the side. I think speaking, these could probably head in here as well. And then the Manpadders can move forward. We've got the Artillery Group in here. I'm actually going to move it right there and let's do a bit of a range attack on the enemy here along the road. Ooh, there we go. We got a kill. Two kills. Damn. Well, that infantry probably didn't like us uh, arriving there then. Uh, we did have another artillery. Oh, yeah, we got artillery over here as well. Uh, that's some leopards and that's some leopards. Okay, so I'm just going to use this one to do another artillery strike. 
in here. Oh, there we go. That's another kill. I mean, there seems to be monk battalions. What are these? Oh, it's militia. Oh, 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 oh. poor militia. They didn't know what. Well, they probably didn't know what hit them, but they couldn't do much about it. Let's go ahead and push the enemy back from here. We might take a tiny bit. Of, oh, there we go. We destroyed one of the light armor battalions. So there's 30 tanks they lost right there. Keep on attacking in here, shall we? Well, we killed 200 of the manpowers there, so that's good. Uh, they've got a bit of tanks here, plus a lot of infantry. They've dug in somewhat well. We've got quite a bit of troops in the surroundings. Of course, what we could do first... They don't seem to have any sort of... Um, black guns in there. So first of all, let's uh, do an air recon on the province. There we go, so we've got a decent recon. Then one of the other things that we're going to do is we're going to take this one. Do air attack. Uh, can we see... So we know that there's the... 14th is probably somewhere nearby. Actually, that, I think that's to the north, but that's fine. We can send that one in. The 13th is over here, I'm pretty sure. And... Yeah, I think it's the 9th. Okay, so that's going to be a lot of planes coming in. Hopefully, there's going to be a lot of hits as well. Okay, well, we've got 100 infantry and 10 tanks. So not exactly what I was hoping for. Let's go ahead and take our troops here now. We'll just send in a lot of it. I think our troops are going to be fairly good. We might take a bit of... Oh, wow, that is a lot of losses under the infantry. But we broke the armor, at least. Didn't lose any tanks, at least. But, that, yeah, that was a lot of infantry that we just lost there. Well, that's a bit of a shame. And then, of course, we could... Uh, oh, actually, I think... There's only some lepers there. They seem to be a bit low on supplies. So we might be able to destroy that with just infantry. Well, at least push it back with just infantry. There we go. That's now pushed. Uh, let's go ahead and just attack along the road here, I think. The, the infantry is uh, going to be pushed back now, that's for sure. Going to attack along the road even further. Ooh, they got artillery brigades in there. Well, we didn't get a lot of hits on the artillery, unfortunately. But regardless, at least we're pushing them back. And there's another regiment in here, which is not looking very strong. Ooh, there's a lot in there. Let's try to push the artillery back further. Ooh, there we go. The militia got destroyed completely. Unfortunately, none of these can actually attack the enemy tanks in the tundra right now, but I guess we can send in a bit more infantry along. It's not all bad. The barriers are going to sort of follow behind. Very close to leave behind as that. Tank speaking, no, we can't use the infantry to attack the artillery in here right now, but that's all right. We'll have our chance to do another strike there. Now, they've got a bit of flat guns in here, so I'm not going to do air strike there. Or probably anywhere too near either. So, the attack to the north didn't go quite as planned, but... Most of the other stuff in here did go fairly well. we got a bit of dragons in here that we could move through. I guess we'll just move through there. We've got the armor to HQ over here as well, which we can move a bit closer. Still got plenty of uh, planes in here, which is this one. Oh, that's the fighters, right. So we did use up of the, well, most of the things, quite frankly. But we can keep on moving in here. Okay, there's no supplies there, so we need to move back on this area. These are going to be resting for a little bit. We'll move these next to the enemy thing. Is this an airfield? No, it's just an oil drill. Okay, I mean, that works too. And the enemy 80 troops over here are still about... I wonder if I could cut them off in here. But for that, we might want to move in the artillery first. Do a quick little range attack on this. Don't know if we'll be doing a lot of damage, but we seem to be getting at least, well... Not really all that many hits either. Two hits total. They are still pretty good uh, morale and all that, so yeah, no, probably won't be attacking there quite yet. What we do have, though, is we've got a bit of these headquarters that could definitely move closer. And I suppose this one... Well, we've got a little bit of troops in there already. Is this... Kind of spread around at middle but We can probably move that slightly closer, I guess. Clear out all of that already. We're still losing a little bit of oil. Definitely need to get some more ammunition as well. As we're not using quite as much uh, rocket artillery in the line. Speaking of rocket artillery, though, we've got the Zuzans over here, so we can start moving these closer. And I suppose another thing that we might want to start thinking about is making a railway across the mountains. It's going to be quite difficult, though. 
But if we can get a railway through here, then that's gonna make sure the supply issues are not particularly bad. Then we've got the Hueys in here. Don't necessarily want to move these too much closer yet because supply is going to be an issue. How's the... Right, so we did get a little bit of work done at the truck station here, but only a little bit. We'll try attacking these tanks, but I think uh, we'll just leave that for next round. And the anti-tank guns uh, are not really in shape to attack quite yet. But anyway, we've had a pretty good advance already in here, so next round we might be already attacking into the capital. Although what we might want to do is try to cut them off over here first. If we've got the ruins and all that, the southern area is basically going to be out of supplies. I mean, they might get a port or something that they'll use to supply it. But beyond that, it's going to be pretty darn difficult. How good are relations with uh, the Garland territory? Uh, not the best. We'll send a diplomat down there. If we can keep them at good relations, and we could maybe even annex them. I mean, if we were to annex them now and start to sort of attacking from the west of the capital as well, that'd be quite nice. They're probably a lot easier said than done to actually sort of pull them in. But let's uh, get some replacement troops. Oh, yeah, we need a lot of it, actually. There we go. That was mostly just infantry that we needed anyway. We also have the air command in here, but I suppose it's got troops on multiple sides of this. Uh, so that'll be it for now there, I guess. Could maybe move these forward. Don't really have an airfield or anything like this, or that on this side of the mountains yet. I'm sure that we'll work on that eventually, especially once uh, Tomorrow's Rebellion is destroyed. We'll have a plenty of time to rebuild all of it. And after that, we're not really fighting any wars with that, then are we? Well, I mean, of the big ones, Tomorrow's Republic is... Uh, well, technically speaking, Hofstein is still something that we're at war with. But they're not really a challenge. Ooh, but there we go. We got a lot of the constructions done. One in Spike, one in Spokamania, one in Katmandos, Rodna got the truck station, Rio got the hospital. And then we're getting a little bit more stuff. So Osnabrück, Celeste, Katmandos, and somebody are getting more things. And somebody's getting a separatization plan, which is going to be providing a bit more electricity for the northern grid. Speaking of which, though, how is the northern grid doing in terms of energy right now? It is still losing a little bit. Uh, I mean, the solar panel field in Albrecht that we started building some time ago is built... They got a little bit extra workers there as well, so that's good. Or extra population available for being more work oriented, I guess. I don't know. But let's get to the next round, shall we? I wonder if they're pulling a lot of troops uh, in or out of the capital area right now. I mean, that's where our tanks are concentrated, so. One way or another, there's going to be problems for them. Nope, oh, there's a bit of artillery attack. They might try to do a counterattacks. Ooh. They actually pushed our infantry back. With tanks, admittedly. Well, I guess we'll just need to do a bit of a counterattack there. No, oh, well, there's a bit of fight against the fauna, and the rebel rebellion that we have in the Far East is uh, still kicking. Not much, but it's still uh, on the move. But it did take a little bit of losses, at least, in that round. We lost 300 infantry, and we killed 100 walkers. Now, the walkers were the uh, local fauna, so that's... Uh, not under Ooh, rare metal deposit in Taz. Type of soldiers to promote. Uh, what are we going for right now? Um, I think meritocracy would be probably a pretty decent one, to at least improve a little bit. So, skill is paramount, zeal is secondary. Doesn't seem like anyone's going to get upset about it, at least. Yes, sir. No, no, everyone seems to be liking that. Not going to change the budget. Yes, sir. It's uh, working well enough. I'm sure that it could be more optimized, of course, but... Roger that. Not going to go for full optimization, let's be honest. Protest in Osnabrück. Hmm. We could send the troops to end that protest. Or we could try to calm down the protesters. Let's try to calm down the protesters. Very unlikely to succeed. Yeah, it's a failure. Unrest increased by 30%. Yeah, okay. We roll relatively well in the end. Just not good enough. As much as the Union Chief is fucking mania. They want a pay raise. 
I tried to get rid of the agitator, but now I will accept the demand, I guess. What could happen is goes up. Ooh, right, there's a schedule meeting. We could try... Well, let's just try to learn their language better first. Uh, we did not make any progress understanding. They seem to have been much amused, but cannot say they made any progress. Okay, so no progress there then either. That is a bit unfortunate. Now we're at least getting the metal back, so that's good. And they had the battle in here. That infantry got pushed back a little bit. It wasn't too bad yet. We got the armor battalion in here. We got the headquarters close enough as well, so we should be able to push these back without any issues. There we go, we destroyed 10 tanks and we pushed them back. We could probably move this one in here. Uh, I don't necessarily want to attack this one again, not yet at least. So we'll just hold on to the ground there. We got some more reinforcements arriving. We'll move these in. Maybe sort of hold the northern flank over here of our push towards the enemy capital. Speaking of which. Let's send 100 heavy tanks against whatever they have in here. Well, that's uh, 10 tanks, 10 trucks, and 100 infantry. Could be a lot worse. I guess we'll get in here and attack this stack. Well, we did not push them back. So we definitely uh, did deal a bit of damage. Oh, this is the Crusaders. So this is the light tanks, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is the light tanks. Not necessarily the best of the units, but it is good enough for now. Right, so we, well, I mean, that's militia and a lot of um, motorcycle infantry, so that's not really that bad. And we can send in these tanks closer. Those can just head northwards. We could do a quick little attack in here. We're a little bit low on fuel, though, so we might not do all fuel and maybe ammo as well. So we might not do all that much damage. Well, we did push them back at least, but indeed not a lot of damage in that. There we go, we cleared out the mountains. Supply situation is still quite uh, horrific. I mean, the truck station is slowly being built, um, at least there. I'm just going to send in more colonies down here. The Salesa will eventually be a working city. I mean, the problem is, quite frankly, there's the light industry level 3, which is eating up pretty much all of the workers available, or all the population available as workers. So that's not really helping the situation, let's just say. Send the Hueys a little bit closer. And then I guess we've got the machine gunners in here. We could try attacking that, but mm, I think we're going to wait. For now, anyway. Got quite a bit of infantry in here. Could we... They are a little bit low on supplies. I think we're not going to attack there yet. We're going to send in a bit more infantry to guard this front. So they got nine units in their capital, as far as we can tell. Of course, some of that is units that we just pushed in there. And then, of course, we've got a little bit of troops in here. Do a quick and dirty air attack in that area. Ooh, there we go. That's a double hit. So there's a total of 30 tanks destroyed. Not bad. Definitely making it less likely to, for them to do yet another counterattack. Plus we've got... Ooh, we've got a lot of artillery in there. And we do have the flat guns as well. I suppose these ones could help join there. You know what? We could do a bit of a range attack with these artillery units. It might be a bit bad for the supply situation, admittedly. So if we can get a few hits uh, or kills like that, then that's. Uh, I think it's still worth it. The attrition is definitely working in our favour right now. They got a bit of tanks at the mountains here, but it's still high mountains, so it's minus 50 of their defence. And our troops are recovering. I suppose we've got some planes down here. Can we do air, air, air attack on them? We can. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a good start for the battle. There we go. So that's the 20 tanks destroyed. Which leaves fairly little defenders actually in there. You've just sent... Uh, all three battalions of infantry in here. We should be able to deal some damage. We don't have a massive amount of anti-tank gun capabilities in there, but the firepower combined is still pretty decent, all things considered. Doesn't in these two make sure that we don't accidentally lose this road, because that would be a bit awkward. We've yet to break that one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in a bit of infantry in here, and then let's do a bit of a range attack 
on the enemy infantry across the r river. Now, admittedly, it's a bit rough terrain and across the river, so tanks would be pretty bad option to try to do attacking with. So we might have to stay put for now. Unless, well, that would also be a river crossing, actually. But if we can get this one across here, cut off that road, then these units are going to... Well, that unit especially is going to start running out of supplies for sure. And technically speaking, these tanks could be... I mean, we could try attacking through there, but it's not necessarily the best option. We could try going all the way around to attack from here to that point and then break that one because this is a lot of anti-tank capabilities. I don't want to attack there with my tanks if I don't have to. I guess we'll find out in due time. So that can move in. We did not do the fighting in... The oh, right. And I believe we've still got the... Yeah, we got these to move as well. Or the rocket artillery. The tanks are now at least all moved in. Well, technically speaking, not all moved in, but a lot of them have moved out in there. We can... Bring that one back. There is a bit of enemies in here. This one's starting to be a little bit low on supply region there, but that's still doable. Oh, well, we, oh, we got the Hellraiser over here. Right. <laughs> we could send that to the western front and just nuke the enemy capital. Definitely an option. Now, whether it's a good option, probably not. Hey, we're starting to get supplies in here, so we can finally keep on advancing. Oh, well, we took a little bit of losses in here, but nothing compared to what they did. 8 to 1 ratio is not bad when you're attacking. Oh, there we go. It's broken. So that's now cleared out, and I suppose the supply situation is now sufficient to clear out the rest of this peninsula as well. So there we go. That's uh, definitely an improvement. And part of that is probably just due to the fact that uh, we've started... To getting the supplies in Rosna as well. And we've got the truck station in. It's not necessarily the best situation there yet, but it's definitely improving. This can probably get in here as well. So we'll have a little bit extra troops uh, in these regions for now. I've still got a little bit of artillery in here, or rather AT in here. Now, admittedly, we don't have any tanks, so I'm not too worried about it. And it seems to me that they are fighting in here a decent bit. Is that. Oh! Ah, I just can't see the border in there. Well, actually, there's a, something I could do about that. It's just sending a bit of spies into that zone. Bit of a, well, it's actually not that bad a difficulty. Yeah, there we go. We got some spies in there. Also try sending some individual spies. And what do we have? Okay, we got already some spies in a lot of these areas. Maybe we'll send one into Ogalan territories. Speaking of which, we did improve relations with that, I believe. Not necessarily massively, but it should be... Yeah, it's uh, 43 now, so it's not too bad, all things considered. Still got probably a little bit of planes in here that we could be utilizing. Uh, where's the... Well, there's the wizards. We might actually want to let some of these rest for now. There's the hawks. Air attacks. Ah, you don't have the range either. So, yeah, let's just let them rest for now, anyhow. Uh, we could move the headquarters a little bit closer. I know they've got some at least in here. So giving them that slight improved uh, edge over the enemy might not be a bad idea. Now, another thing that I could do is just build a bit of a dirt road through here. For now, at least. We might get rid of some of that. Although, mm, actually, we might get rid of this one. And that one. And maybe that one. So we'll have the road going in there, but it's uh, harder to take it back from the enemy side. And I don't think we need this road anymore. Or that road. Just making the logistics network to be a little smoother. Uh, but let's have a look at the replacement troops again. We might have... Oh yeah, we did lose a bit of troops. I believe we didn't do the movement in the north yet. Okay, so that's the fight. So did we already do the movements in here? Well, there's something landed there. So no, we did not. Because I don't remember seeing that one yet. I'm guessing it's right there. Whatever it is. I'm not going to be attacking there quite yet. Oh, there's the rare materials. Oh, rare metals, sorry. So that's good. And we capture some of that. So I suppose the armored cars could get over here and clear out. Or figure out at least what's in there. Uh, we might have to send in a bit of uh, troops down here to guard that area. And of course, they still got this whatever it is trying to break through, but I think our tanks will be able to... Oh, it's Salamanders. So, yeah, it's not really that difficult. 
But we just kind of need to stop them from uh, utilizing or advancing too far. Plus, we've got the motorcycle troops in here. So they will at least uh, stop it from moving through that way. The lizard snakes, I'm just going to move in here to capture or recapture some of that road. And then all the way into the... Oh, right, there was another landing that they did, wasn't there? Yeah, this one. Well, luckily we got infantry right next to it, so... Well, there we go, they've been overrun. That's one less enemy to worry about. I knew that that might still do some landings in there, which is why we kept the troops there. That's... Oh, there we go, so that one's actually empty, and that seems to be rather empty as well. Well, there we go, that's a bit more land gained in the northeast. Not much, though, and probably not very valuable land either. Ooh, metal is running a little bit low in the northern sectors, though. Let's have a look at the construction overview. So there's still four things that we're building. Oh, there's a urbanization plant that has been built in somebody. That is probably the biggest problem there. Celes, Katmandos, and Osnabrück are all in the southern one. And I think that one's actually gaining stuff, uh, slowly at least. Yeah, it's gaining some metal. Now, could you use more artillery to break the enemy a little bit? We could probably get a bit of more ammunition as well. I don't know how much we can actually have in here, though. Let's get a few hundred. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bit of range attack with all three of these. Unlikely to do any significant damage, admittedly. Well, we got a hit at least. You know, we uh, actually we should have done the recon first. Well, we got two hits. Uh, but yeah, we got a bit of planes in here. Plus, we should have some extra planes in... Actually, no. Well, yeah, we do have some of the extra planes in there still. Let's go ahead and do a quick little air recon on the enemy capital. Well, all the, not really the capital, but the city over here. We got a bit of infantry defending it. Do we know about the supply situation? We don't know too much. We do know that they got a port level 2 already in here. Don't know much about the population or anything else, uh, though. Okay, I have a cunning plan. I'm going to move the unit in here to stop this one coming too close. This one probably going to cut us off there, but then we're going to move in someone in here. And we're going to squeeze it into this corner and destroy it. And then, you know, slowly but surely we can start expanding further and further. Now, admittedly, we do have still the... No, yeah, there's the ravens. And the wizards have already acted uh, this round. Never mind. Well, that can then wait, I suppose. Uh, let's get to the next round, then. They're definitely trying to get some... Um, or exploit some gaps in the front there, but it's uh, not really going to save them. Oh, there we go. We kill another 500 salamanders as well. So I think that one's not really going to last uh, another round, luckily. And they did not take the bait either. Okay, so we can get back to the mountain there then. And hold them back. Like, I, I think we've got a fairly solid front line here in Ansung. So that's at least going to be something that they'll have to work very hard to actually push us out of. So we've got 500 infantry, and that's it. We've got the AG4 now designed. Let's have a look at the stats of that. So the uh, three had uh, 550 hit points and 83 soft attack. And 32 hard attack. So it's actually slightly less hard attack, but more soft attack. And 550 hit points. So is that actually... That's practically the same. All right, then. Although, actually, it does say combat value is a lot higher, so I don't know what exactly makes it better, then. Oh, it does have more actual attacks per round, though. Even though it's got the same... Okay, interesting. What about the ammo used, actually? Is that any better? No, the ammo used is the same. So while the attack values may not have really increased all that much, the amount of attacks that each one of them does is improved. Oh, and there's demand that a project assets leech. Well, we just need to get one more in there. So I suppose it's possible. Although it's only 208. Okay, so it's um, nine rounds. Uh, I guess we're going to try to do that. Military Research Council task priorities. No changes there. Uh, we need to design something. Um, is there something that we haven't designed in a while? I mean, I suppose the flat gun we haven't really built up on the flat two, for example. 
So I'm going to keep it the 88mm uh, heavy air gun for now. It might not be the best, but it's uh, not too heavy at least. And it's got okay firepower, all things considered. Plus it's relatively cheap compared to the next one. Oh, we can actually put the heavy combat armor in there. I didn't realize that. That's definitely going to make a difference there. Uh, worker striking, Sir Jody. We could probably give in to some of their demands. Also, minor worker strike into Ross now, so we'll give us into some of their demands. Major worker strike in Crawler Industries, that's a lot of workers in there. Oh. Just keep them happy for now. A walker, uh, walker agitator in Hidden Village. Right, so that's in the northwest of our territories. Hmm. I'll try to investigate. But that's unlikely to succeed. I'm just going to give in to some of their demands as well. That does cost us a lot of money doing all of these, but at the same time. At least it reduces... Okay, there's another walker agitated. This is not in rear. Actually, this one's going to be quite easy. So yeah, we'll be able to do that. Yeah, that was successful. 500 workers did leave us, but unrest did not increase. Atino community is blackmailing us, but I'm just going to refuse that one. And resettlement proposal from Pruderland. Uh, I accept a small group of 600 rather special refugees that are outcast in Pruderland because of their bizarre facial tattoos. Sure. I don't mind getting a little bit more population. It might cause a bit of unrest and that sort of stuff, perhaps, but it's not too bad. But I do realize we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, have the link down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. A little next time. Bye bye.